We are in Outlook 2016. I'm going to show you how to create a daily task list. Now, a task list is something that shows up at the bottom of your screen by default. And if we click on the View tab at the top of our calendar, as you see, and then we choose Daily Task List, you can see that by default it's going to be off. We can go in and create our daily task list to show up by clicking on Normal. At the bottom, you see the task list shows up. And you can see there's all kinds of space here where we can add tasks. If we decide we want to change the way that looks, we can go back and choose it to be minimized so it only shows it at the bottom that there's zero tasks going on. But we can certainly expand that if we want, and now it's no longer minimized. Now let's go ahead and go type something into our task list, such as uh, get out TPM reports. Those are very important. So we can see now that our due date is there. Our reminder is none. But if we go to at the top, you see the daily task list tab just lit up as soon as I created a task. And we can go in here and we can make different changes, such as we can categorize it. We can change it to private, high or low importance. We can change the arrangement. And we can choose when it's due. We can, we can remove it from the list. We can mark it complete. And now it's gone. Let's go ahead and undo that. And now it's back. If we double click on it, it shows up as a task. And from here, we can make it a reoccurring type of a thing. And let's go ahead and make it so it reoccurs every Monday with no end in sight. And so now we can go ahead and click Save. And it'll show up on every Monday. If we double click on it again, we can also send a status report. We can assign the task to someone else. Say we just don't want to do it ourselves anymore. Let's go to assign it to somebody else. And if we go over to task list on the left hand side, then we can see it shows up in our tasks. So even though it's in our calendar, it actually shows up under the separate category of tasks. And from here, you can do the same thing. You can make changes, same changes you can make as if you were in the calendar. So that is the task list that we can have show up in Microsoft Outlook 2016.